case construction king. Looking like a dead brontosaurus. That's cool. International what? 460? 340? Gotta be like a 340. Something like that. 504. I, I don't know. Somebody tell me. I wish it wasn't in such a bad shape. Because this looks like a good little tractor. 404 maybe? I need to learn more about the small stuff. Those headlights definitely do not fit in there. Old case, old, old case. H Pharma. Picked over Ford with a serious backhoe and loader on it. Probably did a lot of good work when it was new. Little 100 series Ford, I believe. Good friend of ours had something like this. It's a good little. Little tiny baby deer. H. Feels like a pretty early H. Another one that got the uh, pink repaint before it ended up in here in the yard. Shame. Interesting though. Let's try over here. A lot of this I went through last time. And we got the valve cover. I would have left that on because that engine honestly doesn't look that bad. But these are cool. Never really got into them that much. Had an F12 for a while. And who had old school remotes on there? It's probably a little beyond saving. Had a Christmas tree. Doesn't look like it was an IH Christmas tree, I don't think. Did you have a lot of hydraulics? You had a loader. Of course, it's gone. But yeah, I think this one had live hydraulics. Somebody pinched them. Tags are gone. Need a Lincoln tractor cab, Blue Mound, Illinois. This appears to be a farm all regular. Reasonably complete farm all regular. And that's a shame because that deserves to be sitting in somebody's barnyard somewhere, not in the junkyard.
I'd never try to restore it, but man, it looked good sitting in the uh, front yard back on its wheels. Let me get here. There, Alice. Yeah. I'm not too interested in green heads. Let's find the red combines. I said that like a half hour ago. It's gonna be a monster video. This might be a two-parter. Oh, they'll cut off wheels on that. Cleaners, see a couple F2s in there. Back in the day when we were big into the early Cub Cadets, Dad and I'd come out here and buy combine lights and make up sets of headlights for the uh, Cub Originals because the lights on the 815, 915 combines were the same as the Cub Original lights. I love that 460. That is such a shame. Onward. Ford combine there. Kind of a rarity around here. A lot of gleaners around here. Okay, I see something cool. <sighs> Self-propelled corn picker or something like that. It's a new idea. Some internationals. <sighs> Open station 303. Six fifteens, nine fifteens. Axial flow fourteen forty. See the blower fans kind of windmilling in the breeze and those old deers and the noise the wind through the tin work it's kind of eerie another axial flow corn and soybean special Fourteen sixty. I've ridden in one. Honest to God, guys, never got to use a combine. That's something I'm planning on. Oh, there's a bunch of grain drills and stuff. I gotta get over there. Almost bought one once. 
we had an open station, found an open station that's a 91 or a 93. Real early international, basically had an H power plant in it. And the tin was, you know, really thin. And But the engine was loose and it had driven into the barn before the barn fell down. They pulled it out. Could have had it for nothing, but, you know, it was a big project. A little 315. That's cool. We didn't. Kind of wish we had. No space, though. New Islands. New Islands. Hay rakes back there. Feed grinders over there. Oh, thresher head, that's probably a pull type. We're back over on Mower Row where we were last week. I'm gonna go up the Ooh, pickers. Let's go look at the modern pickers. Right now these are trailing pickers. idea someday I'm gonna do something really stupid and buy an international baler you know Solid new idea manure spreader over there, wood side. I mean, how long? It needs a little work on the guts, but I've seen worse things. I had a Model M International green drill. Had a couple of them. Kind of sent them down the road, never thought I'd use them. I want something a little newer anyway. There's a lot going on. I didn't really have the time to put into them, so I just kind of let them go. These are all newer, 510s, stuff like that. old and it says McCormick might be a model 45 if anyone turns up a mint one out of their barn let me know well it's you know close to northern Ohio because I'm crazy enough to try we're back at that little forlorn Ford And a big rear end out of something. All right, that's about it. Dad, are on, Dad and I are on our way back from Jeans again and over in Attica and just had to stop, take a look at this insane road. This is just gorgeous. This is the great thing about Ohio in the, uh, in the fall. Imagining 
around this next turn there's going to be a perfect Farmall 560 diesel sitting in someone's yard for sale for an incredible price and it'll just fall into our lap and we'll be looking for a trailer tomorrow to bring it home. I'm sure it'll happen. It's, it's got to be right around here someplace. It's a cool road. Sorry about the bumps guys, we're driving the Jeep. Jeep, just enjoy every pothole.